Yo, what's going on guys? Mickey CTX and today we're gonna be talking about how to really hit on girls at a gym and uh, Quite a few of you have asked me on how to pick up girls at a gym and that's one of my favorite places to actually be and uh, well, Actually one of the best places actually if you do it carefully and uh, Precisely you could actually pick up just about any girl you want at the gym as long as you don't bother the fuck out of them and become this little bitch uh, then yeah, your, your chances of uh, getting the girl are increased. So here are some of the steps that you should follow on how to pick up girls at a gym. Now the first things first, whenever you see a girl working out, you know, a lot of guys, you know, we, we like to stare at the girl. It, it's really hard not to, but the first step is, it, it's really simple, okay? And it kind of applies to the second. So the first step is do not stare at a girl like you're gonna fucking haunt her, like you're gonna eat her alive. Don't just stare and stare and stare. Girls, no, dude. I mean, there's fucking mirrors there. I mean, as long as you're staring, you know, from time to time, don't make it known that you're, like, looking at her every single second of the fucking workout. Uh, chicks don't like that, and that's one thing that can affect your game once you want to introduce yourself to her. Uh, not many girls find that flattering. But, uh, yeah. So, second thing you should also realize is that, okay, now that you're staring at her, she might know that you kind of like her or have a hint. Um... But never introduce yourself while the girl's working out. If the girl's fucking like, like jogging or she's lifting weights or doing some other shit that she does, stretching things like that that she has her headset on, um, do not interrupt her. That shit is not gonna get you anywhere. Uh, Cause you know, first of all, most girls that do like to work out like to take it serious, so they don't want you know. It's not a place for them to like really socialize and meet too many people. At, at least a lot of the girls that 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 I'm gonna be representing here. Uh, not through me, of course, but that, from my experience, they don't like to be uh, interrupted, especially when you're sweating, you're trying to lose, you know, a few pounds, or you're trying to look even better. Uh, that's the last thing you want to do. Now, the fix is wait until she is finished working out. So, like, maybe make a move after she's, you know, done, you know, she's on the side somewhere, or she takes off her headset, she, you know, she's going to be stretching to finish working out. You notice that she's done working out, or she's going to get maybe some water. Uh, those are kind of a good way to maybe see her and then talk to her that might earn you some points and that shit usually is a good way that that you know that she that she knows that you know that there's like a mutual agreement that you're not gonna hit on her while she's working out and you're not just there to pick up girls and that's always a good thing to do now another thing that a lot of guys do wrong is that yes it's cool to wear you know bad uh, not baggy clothes but cl clothes that kind of show more stuff than they could uh, but there is a lot of guys that like to wear tight clothes that show their package their junk uh but don't wear short shorts to the gym uh that shit doesn't pick up any fucking points and i don't give a fuck how big your dick is uh girls are really gonna like just look at your dick i mean it's not a very flattering thing uh if you think about it so if you're going to the to the fucking gym and then you're gonna be showing your junk last thing you're gonna really be doing is getting laid so this is not a fucking porno it's not miami beach it's not south beach motherfucker don't be taking that shit in like you're fucking south beach and it's a nude beach for you guys that don't know what south beach is in florida um but yeah so you don't do that shit there um yeah you can wear certain clothing that might help you but do not wear fucking short shorts don't look like fucking borat okay don't do that shit it's not gonna help you out much all right another thing now, you know, whenever you're at a gym and uh, you hear the, the, the people working out like, Ah, oh, I'm grunting, I'm grunting, I'm the fucking Hulk, I'm fucking swole, or even if you're not swole, you're not, you, you could just be a normal motherfucker. Uh, keep the grunt to a level, to a minimum level, I mean. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that love to go deeper and louder and, ah, I'm fucking 10 pounds away, woo, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Uh, don't, don't do that shit. Don't grunt, if, if you have to grunt, Keep that shit easy. Keep you know. Try to really control your you know you know your your noises. Uh, if you can't help to emit your noises while you're working out, uh, close your mouth, man, or, and and swallow the sound, and don't fucking do that shit. Girls actually laugh at you. I know a lot of girls at the gym, and they always laugh at guys that do that shit. Now, this is why one of the biggest mistakes you fellas do that go to the gym. Do not take the Zumba class. Don't do that shit. Yeah, you. it might be a great workout. If you're doing it for the workout reasons, great. Do it. But don't go in there just to intentionally, just to pick up girls. Don't just go in there thinking that because they're taking Zuma classes and doing all these forbidden sexual moves from, you know, banning all 50 countries and, you know, and shit like that. Um, 
yeah, it's, it might not work. It's not gonna work actually, uh, cause girls they know they know when you're there just to get girls. Uh, first of all, you're not gonna know the fucking moves, and those moves are very complicated. They're like fucking dancing with the stars type of moves. I've seen some of their moves. I I don't think I could pull some of their shit that they're doing. And um and and, and second of all, you know they're gonna be like, wait wait wait, wait. this guy's just here talking to girls, not even working working out. Get the get this guy out of here. They're gonna complain about you. You're gonna be out. And then that's just gonna be some embarrassing shit. So don't don't try to do that while you're you know trying to get your Beyonce bootylicious fucking Monday night workout at the Zumba class. You wanna just wait for her to be out, and then you might be able to talk to her. Uh, it's actually better uh, if you actually you know approach her right after it's over, really, to be honest, and waiting for, you know while it's fucking going. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is a lot of you fucking fuckers that go to the gym. It's like you guys don't like shower or some shit. Or, or maybe you guys are using the same workout clothes over and over and over again. Here's a really good tip to give you guys. If you're going to be at a gym trying to pick up a girl, the, the rule of thumb is that it does not not apply at a fucking gym that you got to smell good. Trust me, you do. Smelling for women, like the way you smell is a huge turn on or a turn off. So if you smell bad, bro, trust me, if you go to the gym smelling like shit, like you haven't showered in days and you smell like, you know, you just got your, your fucking little brother's underwear and, you know, it's all in your fucking just drawers, you know, it's just, yeah, you're not going to get any luck. You're just going to be like, this girl can be like, fuck this guy. This guy does not care take care of himself. Now, re remember, you're at a gym and people that are at a gym, the, the reputation is that and the idea is that these people are here to take care of themselves So the last thing you want to do is go in the fucking gym smelling like you just got out of a fucking karate tournament or something And uh, that's the last thing you want to do girls do not like that at all So what is the rule? What is the fix here? Of course the fix is a life of the gym rule of course it's smell nice So don't fucking become a douchebag and go in there, you know, and don't for, for example If you smell bad with bad clothes, don't wear it. Do not also wear cologne that shit is not going to freaking smell good after you start working out. You start working out, 20, 30 minutes into it, it sweats all over that fucking expensive ass or cheap cologne. It's going to smell worse. It doesn't smell good if you wear cologne to a gym. So don't don't wear cologne. Don't wear old clothing that you haven't washed. And just smell good. So yeah, hopefully these steps might help you guys out in picking up girls at a gym. Uh, I typically, uh, if, if I were to do it, it, it takes some time uh, because this is a much harder ball field because they're much more men than women so just remember that but uh yeah hopefully these tips help you out and if it does let me know in the comments below and uh if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button i post here on a daily so yeah make sure to check here every day for of course the content that i put because i really talk about random shit like casual shit just things that are affecting your daily life and anything that might just intrigue your sexual appetite to help you get laid so anyways if you guys are new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more of course daily content here on this channel and if you also like this video hit that like video I truly super duper great appreciate it when you guys do that till next time this is yours truly mickey ctx and i'm out